So when you're writing about your ideas for this project and discussing things like carrying capacity, you want to cite the sources that have helped you make up your mind. So for example, um, you have all these claims, you have all these sources, how can we put it together? And one of the nice features that they've added onto Google Docs under here under Tools is a citation tool right here. So if you click on that, we'll use the MLA format. You click on Add Citation Source. Um, and in this case, I'm using websites. So I'm going to, for source type, I'm going to put website. And then, so let's say this is my first source right here. The Earth's carrying capacity for human life is not fixed. I want to insert that URL, search for it. And it's pulling up the information. Since I agree with it, I'm going to just click Continue. There's nothing else I need to change here. I'm going to add it as a source. And now it's here for me, which is awesome. So let's say this sentence right here, the first sentence, um, is formed based on that article. Right away, you want to cite it. So there's no ambiguity. Like you're telling me that this sentence is uh, based on what you read on this website. So you click cite. That's in in text citation, and that's what it looks like right there. Hit space. You don't want that connected right there. And then later on, let's say um, here we've got another statement by a different source. Grab the website, add a citation source. It's a website again. There's the URL. It finds the information. Continue. And now I have two sources in here. So cite it one more time. And oh, I, I cited the same thing twice. I'll cite this one. Now, once you have all of these inline citations set up, you want to, at the very end, insert a works cited down here. And this is just a list of all the sources. Um, the only thing I want changed is that these websites are not clickable, so hit space, right? You want to be able to access them quickly. Well, at least I want to be able to test what the sites are by looking at them, glancing on them. And I like to read through these, so that should be as easy as possible. And that's pretty much it. So again, you could go to Tools and Citations and just kind of follow the prompts. Just make sure you have these inline text citations and a work cited at the end with workable links.